Today we're installing an edge with added to CTS monitor uh, on an 06 Dodge. Part number is a 31104. We're going to kind of do this and uh, do this install video in two parts. We're going to do we're going to show you all the underhood installation first, then all the end cab installation next. Uh, as always, check your uh, check your instruction booklet. Make sure you received all your parts. Um, the juice with attitudes are, are nice because the wiring harness is all integrated. Uh, you don't have very many pieces to, to the kit. You know, you got the, the juice module itself, the main wiring harness, the CTS, and a couple little accessory packs. So we'll get started with our underhood installation. All right, we're going to start with our main harness connections here. We're going to start with our power and our ground. Uh, first off, uh, 06 truck, we're going to connect this to the number 30 fuse, the spare, it's a 15 amp. You receive these jumps will come with your kit. They simply clip onto your fuse. Install it. Alright. Alright. First off, again, with any install, you want to make sure your negative and all of both your battery cables is off. We've already done that. So, we're going to speed connect the power. And we're going to pick up our ground here. Dodge has got a stock location that they use for ground. We're going to reuse it. 10 metric bolt on the fender well here. Next, we're going to catch our injector group connectors. You get two, two connections in the harness. One's longer than the other one. Your long harness side goes to your four through six injector group. Your short side goes to your one through three injector group. So you disconnect your main harness and do one through three first. Male into female end until you hear it click. Mail into the juice harness, back into the valve cover to your click. Long side will be four through six. Male to female. And Next, we're going to be picking up our map sensor connection. It's right here along the intake manifold. Uh, it's actually between the number two and the number three injector line. We just disconnect it from the sensor. Get our connection from the main harness. And again, female to male. And then male back into the sensor. Next, we're going to install our EGT connections. Uh, we've already installed our EGT probe. We've done that in several of our videos, so we didn't need see the need to take up the time here to do it. Uh, EGT connections are red to red, yellow to yellow, and they're held with Phillips screws and nylon lock nuts. Good. Okay. We mounted our our juice module here underneath the hood. So this is one of our. Our final connections in the main harness is connect the main harness right to the juice module till you hear click. Now we're going to have some things that are coming out from the from the CTS, other things that are going going in. So we'll we'll get started uh, mostly now on on our our in, inside portion of we're the starting install. on our inside portion of our install right now. This is the rubber grommet in the firewall uh, where we're going to be accessing our wires that are coming out to the main harness. The main harness has got one wire that comes off of it that is a lot longer than the rest of them and it is just a female uh, just a female spade uh, it'll be coming in for the turbo timers so we already routed it through through the grommet and next going back out of the grommet is going to be the connector for the expandable and the CTS 
Uh, it has a green uh, green female connector on it, the uh, or a green male connector, I'm sorry, green male connector, and it will be going out of the grommet through the firewall and connecting back into the main Next, we're going to run our data link cable through the firewall. Only one end of this needs to go out to the main harness, and it is this female plug right here. Next, we're going to be connecting the turbo timer on this. We get a lot of calls on this. People have a lot of difficulty finding them. The turbo timer is a lot easier to find. If you remove this kick plate right here, there's just four, uh, four bolts that hold it on. That'll get it out of your way. And then you can see kind of up in the steering column a little bit better. On the 06 model, the connection that you're looking for is going to be on this side of the steering column. We've already got it done. We've got the male end out here. And we need to connect this jumper that was supplied to us by Edge. It's a male and a female. And then you'll have one power wire that will connect back into your harness, your turbo timer. And it's actually connecting into the main harness. So we're going to make this connection real quick. Before we mount our, our CTS here, uh, we've already run the run our wires up top, and we'll show you how to do that. One of the uh, last connections is this is, goes to your expandable pack. That's the plastic T here. We'll connect this. We're going to connect our OBD2 into the OBD2 OBD2 port. Now we've already fished these wires up through here. We saved y'all a bunch of cussing and fussing with the dash but the easiest way to do this is to actually just pull back your weather strip in here on this 06 model and it kind of accesses you a hole you fish your wires up through the bottom and if you just gently push on the on the uh, the grab handle here that gives you slack in your wires so you're not tearing your wires up or anything so we brought up uh, both of our CTS connections off of the OBD2 main harness there so what we're going to do now is we're going to clean everything up. We're going to zip tie up all of our loose wires, put our dash column back on, then we're going to mount the CTS. We're now going to install our CTS monitor. This will be a, the finishing touches on our install here. Uh, before you install your C CTS, you want to take it in and make sure that there's no updates available for it. Hook it into your computer and, and check for updates. We've already done that. So <laughs> two connections here. Uh, there will be a smaller six pin. And that goes in your top port, and then there'll be a longer one, and it goes in the bottom port, just like so. Push them in until they click. Now, you actually get a mounting, uh, some mounting hardware with this. This is uh, your window mount unit, and uh, this is just a suction cup unit. We're going to mount this on the window, mount our CTS where it's not obstructing the driver's view and take it out and try it out. We're gonna juice the attitude installed. Everything's working great here. Uh, kind of show you some function on the on the CTS screen. To change power levels here, you just simply hit the up and down level. It comes up and it'll tell you main menu selection is here in the center. And this is where you'll get your diagnostics, uh, juice control, check the trouble codes like we're gonna do right now. Or you can DTCs, come up tell you if any are found. Touch the screen to go back. Menu to go all the way back to the gauges. Just keep hitting menu. And there you go. We set this one, this truck up uh, to monitor fuel rail pressure boost and EGTs.